day, sir. How are you? Good. There's no problem. What we're doing today with uh, we're with the Toronto Police at 43 Division, and what we're doing today is a crime prevention initiative. Right. Basically, we go through the parking lot looking for cars that have their valuables exposed. Make sure the doors are all locked. You know, just our way of uh, helping the public and letting the bad guys know that we're out here, making sure you've got all your valuables stored, and uh, that's our crime prevention that's initiative. Great. great. You know what? That's a great initiative. I think your presence out here and people seeing you is a, is a great deterrent. So uh, I really appreciate your efforts. That's, that's, that's fantastic. That's thank excellent, you. sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thanks, guys. Nice day, sir. Yes. Have a great Christmas. You cool. Thank you. Okay, bye now. Hi, it's Constable Douglas with Toronto Crime Stoppers. I'm here uh, with uh, Constable Guy Service from 43 Division. We're going to give you guys the Toronto Crime Stoppers Crime Prevention Tip of the Week. How are you doing, Guy? I'm doing great today, and uh, here we have a vehicle uh, that's at the mall. And I'm going to show you a few things to check for if you leave your vehicle, whether underground parking or also at a shopping plaza. So let's take a look inside the car here. So first of all, we notice with the lock it or lose it, this vehicle is actually unlocked. So this is going to draw attention to any criminals that can gain access to this vehicle. One of the first things we're going to do is we look inside the vehicle and I can see right now on the dash there's actually a cell phone on there and looking across the far side of the car there's actually a laptop computer. What can we do to secure those? The best thing is to take them with you if you can. If not, then you're going to have to find a location to find it more secure. So your options available to you are possibly hidden under the seats, or taking them from the vehicle, putting them back in the trunk, and maybe covering them with a blanket. Some vehicles don't have trunks, so the blanket is an option to cover the items. I always check for loose change. You create an opportunity where people want to get those items. So always make sure they're hidden. Uh, utilize your glove box and utilize underneath your seats. And always make sure when you leave your vehicle, you lock it or you may lose these items. Guy, I noticed that uh, some of the officers, the auxiliary officers, um, at the beginning of the Lock It or Lose It campaign, they were leaving some vouchers on, on vehicles, windows, in regards to the Lock, or Loser, Lock It or Lose It campaign. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, the, uh, the notices that the officers are putting on, line, on, the, on the vehicles uh, are to advise uh, motorists that their vehicles have been checked and that if there's information whether they found anything in their vehicle or whether their vehicle was locked and it was just to give them a notification that everything was secure. Uh, what I can suggest is, with this information, talk to your neighbours, talk to your friends and pass on the information uh, just to make their vehicles uh, more secure. And that includes at your homes too, in your driveways and also in underground garages also. Um, you can also, if you're at a mall and you see anything suspicious, notify the security or if you have a cell phone, call uh, Toronto Police and just so we're aware of it so we know. Um, securities are usually on site and they can assist uh, if there's any problems in the parking lots. So Crime Stoppers is an anonymous way of doing it uh, if you have any information and then also calling Toronto Police. You know that's great you know uh, I always say the same thing um, that you know keeping your community safe starts with you. If we can share the information get it out there we can have uh, much safer and more and more productive uh, Christmas and holiday seasons. Thanks a lot guy. No problem thank you.